Okay, to save up on time, I have already applied an eyeshadow base. I use Lumen eyeshadow base, and for a color base, I use the um, Mac Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, which is a yellow light beige color, All just to get um, an even smooth canvas to work. The eyeshadows that I'm going to use for today's tutorial come from this trio by Clinique. This is called Doe-Eyed. It is um, from about two years ago. It was limited edition, but you can still get it on eBay. And because Clinique products is not, are not as coveted as um, MAC products, you can get it um, just for the retail price that are retail for. You don't have to overpay for it. So, um, yeah, so if you really want this, you can get this on eBay. But at the same time, this isn't that unique. Really. You've just got a nice, um, um, slightly shimmery highlighter color, a uh, silver taupe color, and just a classic taupe color with just a little bit more brown to it than grey. And you know, it's, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Every single brand makes eyeshadows in these colors, so don't feel that you can't do this tutorial if you haven't got this trio. Um, the first color that I'm going to use is this silvery taupe color, and I'm just using a flat shader brush. And I'm just patting it all over my lid, straight onto my soft ochre paint pot. I want an even nice layer. This has quite decent pigmentation for, as for a Clinique eyeshadow, which often, most often they're not very pigmented, but this is kind of a pleasant surprise. So I'm just putting that all over my lid and slightly into my crease. With a tapered blending brush, I am going to take um, the darkest from the colors in this palette, so this True Taupe color, just on the ends of my brush. I can put quite a lot on because these are Clinique eyeshadows, so not, they're not like terribly pigmented, so it's okay to put a lot on. And I'm just going to blend that in my crease, above my crease slightly, and I'm just going to concentrate on the outer corner of my eye for a little bit of a contour. I do want this to be a wearable day look, so I'm not going for a very, very strong color at all. I don't know if other people who do tutorials on YouTube have this problem, but um, I look in my LCD panel while I'm doing my tutorials and I think, wow, that's really bright. It's kind of brighter than I wanted it to be. And then I um, edit it with Movie Maker and I feel, oh, it's, you know, the colors have kind of disappeared. It's it's so, so, so much softer than I remember it being on the LCD screen and on my eyes. And then I upload it on YouTube and it's like the colors are... 100% less intense than they were in real life, or on the camera. I was watching um, Samantha from Pixie Woo, and she had the same complaint, and she thought it would might have something to do with um, the calibration of her camera. I have no idea what this has to do with. I'm thinking YouTube has something to do with it. But it's very disappointing. Especially if you like doing, like me, wearable day looks. Because they kind of disappear altogether. So I'm just blending a little bit of the darker contour color near my lash line. Okay, I'm going back to my flat shader brush and to my silvery taupe color. And I'm going to reapply it in my inner corner. Because blending all those dark eyeshadows onto my lid, I definitely lost. Quite a lot of a silvery color. So I'm just reapplying it back on. Not discouraged. To deepen my crease a bit, I'm switching to a pointy crease brush. And I'm again taking this darkest color and I'm going to just concentrate on putting color directly in my crease. Just in my crease, because I want that part to be the deepest to get the three-dimensional eye effect. I probably should have done this before reapplying my lid color, but oh well. Time for my highlight and to clean up kind of this kind of messy line of the contour. For my highlight, I'm using obviously the lightest color. 
on a flat shader brush and this is just kind of an off white colour with a slight pink undertone to it and a little bit of shimmer it's very pretty, it's a really nice kind of um, highlighter and I'm just going back to my blending brush and I'm going to kind of blend out the colour into the highlight so the line isn't too clean it's amazing how much work goes into making something look natural. Okay, so I removed the fallout from beneath my eyes from the kind of silvery grey and taupe eyeshadow and now I'm going to apply liner. I am using a product by Clinique. This is their um, brush on cream liner in true black. This is a really nice product. I remember Purse Buzz from persbuzz.com.com she once did a comparison between this and um, MAC Fluid Line and Black Track comparing just um, the quality of it and this actually turned out to be better now this to me is a little bit stark so I'm going to mute it a bit and I'm going to use um, another pointy eye crease brush and the darkest from the shadows in this palette this is kind of my signature thing I can never leave eyeliner alone. I always have to cover it with eyeshadow. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I just feel that it will kind of blend with the whole look better this way. For my lower lash line I'm going to use um, the silvery taupe colour just for some kind of continuity so I'm just putting the silvery taupe colour all over my lower lash line so it kind of ties in with my upper lash line I'm taking the lightest of the colours and I'm just going to put that um, just very near my tear duct, kind of around my tear duct to highlight that part of my eye slightly brush it upwards and slightly into the inner corner time for the darkest eyeshadows of the eyeshadows and I'm just going to put that on my outer third lower lash line just for a little bit of definition Okay, so that is actually it for the eyeshadow and liner. I'm going to apply mascara and then I'll show you what I did for the rest of my face. Okay, so this is the finished look. For mascara, I am currently using um, a sample from Clinique. This is their high impact mascara. And um, I've used it for less than two weeks and it's already starting to clump on me. So I'm um, I mean, not like, no, I don't like this very much then. And... Um, for my cheeks, I used a warm blush. This is um, Fresh Bloom All Over Color in um, Camellia. This is a limited edition um, from two years ago, but again, you can still get this on eBay and for a very a price very similar to the retail price, so something about 20 or 30 dollars. It's really pretty. It's kind of a warm salmon color, a brownish salmon color. Anytime I'm I'm doing silver or taupe eyes, I really like to warm up the rest of my face because um, I want to avoid the kind of ice queen um, effect of silver makeup. So that's why I'm using um, a very warm blush. And on my lips, I used um, a cult lipstick by Clinique. This is their almost lipstick in black honey. It it's the lipstick that looks you know very very scary in the container. It really does look like black honey. But on the lips, um, it goes on kind of a black cherry. Um, color and if you don't use any kind of a lip liner or stain underneath it this is um, what it looks like on fair skin so it's kind of a black cherry color it's very very pretty and this is said to be a color which is universally flattering so it looks kind of different on um, different people but it's supposedly always flattering so I really like this I highly recommend this